What's up guys, Andrew here from Tom Goods Media. Have you ever cooked pork belly that was crispy, but the meat wasn't that tender? Like the meat was a little tough or dry or whatever? It wasn't a pleasant experience, right? Well, I'm gonna show you a technique where you can get the most out of your pork belly while being moist, crispy, and absolutely delicious. To get started, we of course need some pork belly. I've got about one and a half kilo of pork belly here. The first thing to do is to make sure that the meat and the skin are absolutely tender. We will be pulling the meat out from the skin and basically pulling it like pulled pork and returning it to the skin so we have even amounts of meat for every serving. I'll just show you in a bit what I mean by that. Let's get our liquid started. I have here 5 cups of water, to that I will add 1 half cup of fish sauce and a tablespoon of salt and some aromatics. Mix this well to dissolve the salt. Once that's done, just drop in your pork belly and make sure to submerge it completely. Cover it with the lid and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, just drop your heat and let it simmer until it's tender. And it should take about 3-4 to four hours depending on how big your pork belly is. Also make sure to turn it to the other side halfway through for even cooking. It's been about 4 hours and we can take out the pork belly now. Since we're gonna be removing the meat from the skin, make sure it's cool enough to handle. It doesn't have to be totally cooled down because I think it's easier to remove when the meat is slightly warm because the fat hasn't settled yet and everything is still soft. Now just get a pan lined with film so that it doesn't stick and place the skin over it making sure that it's skin side down and the fat area is exposed. Pull any excess meat from the skin and just make sure that the meat is almost totally combined together with all the fat. This is important because when we cut through it later and there's big chunks of meat, it'll just fall apart when we cook it. So I had to transfer this to another pan because I didn't realize the amount of space I needed to make sure that the pork is flat. So I got a smaller pan, cut this into two, and just put some film on top. Get a similarly sized pan and put your weight onto it so that the pork flattens out to an even surface. Add some weight on top to make sure that it stays flat. In this case, I just put some soda cans on top. Cover this up and refrigerate overnight and let everything set. It's been overnight, now you can remove the pork from the fridge and let's portion them out. Since we flattened it out, the pork is nice and proportional. You can just cut this into half and make pork logs out of it. You can also cut this into cubes if you wish. Get your oven preheating at 200 degrees Celsius or to about 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Now get the pan heating with some oil in it. I would suggest using a non-stick pan for better results. Once it's almost smoking, gently drop your pork skin side down and just check on it to make sure that the skin is nice and crispy. Once it's golden, transfer it into a tray and pop it in the oven for about 5 minutes. While the pork is in the oven, we can make a simple dipping sauce with it. We're just gonna juice some calamansi here and add some fish sauce with it. I'll be separating this one for my mom since she doesn't eat anything spicy, while I'll put a piece of chili on mine. It's been about 5 minutes and I'm sure your pork is nice and done. Now this method is really great because there's minimal waste in the pork belly itself because every part of it is used and all mixed up. I feel like you can even get much more out of it than just cooking it straight up. Time for the taste test. I have nothing else to say but wow for this pork belly. I ate this like a champ and of course I had to share this with my family as well. This is all I could eat because it was truly a decadent piece of meat and eating two or more would probably give me a heart attack. The dipping sauce really helps cut through all that richness and gives it a little bit of a kick. You should definitely try this at home and let me know how you liked it. Thanks for watching this video and if you liked it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Andrew from Tom Goods Media signing off.